Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and today we're taking a look at a very interesting version of Windows XP which I very much doubt many of you would have seen before. Okay, press any key for command prompt. Oh, whoa, okay, so this is Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs and I would like to thank Xander McNabb. 7779 for commenting about this one and letting me know so we're going to go through and install it just like we would normally install windows xp take a look around we'll see what we think this wizard helps you set up windows fundamentals for legacy pcs okay next okay i want to set up windows on my computer okay i will answer the necessary questions and the first one is the product key so i will uh put that in all right, with that done, we can now choose our locale. Geographical location, no, I do not live in the United States. And what do we want? Includes basic Windows desktop, remote desktop, and Internet Explorer, or the full fat. So this is gonna require, guys, a whole gig. So what if we just do minimum 611? Let's do custom. Let's see what we have available to choose from. So we can get rid of Windows Media Player and we can get rid of Windows Messenger. We don't need those. So we go next and we can see we have our disk here. Now what's interesting about this is this is different to kind of any version of setup we've had before. So we'll create a partition with, you don't usually have to do that. You can just let Windows do it, but that's fine. We will say, user yeah we'll have a2 ygt1 ad 88za 40w oh wait you have to put a password what you must enter a strong password since when has that been a requirement for windows okay so let me see if our standard password that i often use is good enough it is so we need to select the tcp ip settings uh which i'm not going to do because we actually have dhcp you can oh here we go you can get ip settings assigned if your network supports well we do have dhcp imagine not having dhcp so we're gonna say yes it's a work group we don't want to put it on the domain and we'll install it wow i this is very weird to me this is like a very weird mesh of windows me and windows xp obviously but also a little bit further forward into the windows vista territory with the amount of sort of selecting we do straight up oh setup will restart the computer in eight seconds all right let's do it so it just gives us a windows xp boot screen that's interesting i don't know what that just said i didn't catch that i'll have to slow that down we'll get an action replay on that okay so we've got first boot agent and it's installing our plug and play devices okay now it's just doing something unspecified activity i don't know whether i want to get it to the end there all right here we go windows fundamentals for legacy pcs what was the username it was administrator right 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 okay all right Oh, hello. We have sound drivers and we have a nice little Windows 2000 recycle bin icon. That's nice. And the start menu looks like Crotton hit it. If you saw that video, I'll put that in the cards. Uh, some 2005 ransomware. This is what it looks like. Although you couldn't get to my computer and oh my God, look at that little, look at these icons. Yeah, that's better. Here we are. Now we've got full color. We've got our icons and stuff. Excellent. So let's have a look. How much space does the Windows folder take up? 823 megabytes on the disk. And the program files take 14 megabytes. This is lightning fast, by the way. I just want you guys to know. I, I know we're not really doing a lot because not a lot to do. It's literally, it's almost coming up before I can even press the stuff. We're using 106 megabytes of RAM for everything. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. And what's the biggest thing? Service host and Explorer. Killed Explorer. We're down to 97 megabytes. Let's have a look. What do we actually have in here? Very little. We have very little. We have these accessories. There are the accessories. Uh, and we have no startup items and we have Internet Explorer updates and remote assistance. So that's it. There's not really a hell of a lot going on here, as you can imagine. 
uh, is Windows activated? Oh, yes it is, okay. We also do have a full version of the security center, which is interesting. But what I really wanted to try is I wanted to try my hand at getting a legacy update to work. I don't know whether I want to take this to service pack three. I mean, we can do that, but yeah, sure. Actually, let's do that. And we will not enable these embedded 2009 updates because we're already on a weird version of Windows. We don't really need to make it any worse. Alright, so Legacy Update needs to restart. I really like this change they've implemented in Legacy Update to have this countdown timer. Alright, so we're back. That was a lot of stuff that just happened. Now I'm not going to sit here and do the entirety of Legacy Update because it actually takes multiple runs to get through it, but I did just want to see Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PC, so it does detect it. It did install SP3, I believe. This OS is so bare bones, but it runs so nicely. I would totally recommend if you have any of those, like an EPC, an EPC, sorry, this thing would be perfect for an EPC. It even got help and support. I used to love this as a kid because I actually did not have the internet as a child. So I I would go through like all of this stuff and just like read everything. I think that's kind of how I learned computers back in the day is because I had nothing else to do. It's kind of like I was reading the back of the shampoo bottles, but it was on my computer. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Very interested uh, to have checked out this OS and thank you again to Xander McNabb. 7779 for commenting and giving me the idea for this one. And there is a very light 50k sub special on the way that I teased in the last video. So thank you very much for watching again. Hope to see you next time.